Welcome to another program of the Jack Akemian Show. And it's an honor today to have you, Daphne Campbell, our state representative, also running for state senate here in the house. Welcome this morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm okay. And then um, thank you for inviting me to your show. It's a pleasure and I'm very humbled to speak to your audience for whatever topics, you know, you want to, you know, uh, talk to me about. And then um, I thank God. Sure. for allowing me to come here this morning and I thank God for you personally for inviting me to speak to your audience. Amen. Well, it's a privilege uh, knowing you for probably about the last three or four years. Uh, yeah, just seeing your heart, uh, maybe longer than that. Um, I have a terrible memory. Uh, and just seeing your heart and seeing just the way you care about people and also seeing some of the battles and trials you went through uh, and knowing that the God of Romans 5, who says he'll build character as we go through trials, has been working in your life and really, I think, putting you in the fire to purify your, your spirit. You know, you know, he puts us in the fire and it produces gold. And just seeing the beauty of what God is doing in your spirit uh, as you've been going through these trials. And if you can just, you know, tell us a little bit, um, um, how has it been for you as a step representative dealing with some of the difficulties that comes with politics, um, being a mother, uh, a wife, uh, just, you know, some of the difficulties that I know you've experienced, which obviously people know about. It's been in the press. How do you deal with it as a human being? How do you find the strength to continue? Well, um, I'm going to little back up a little bit and um, introduce who I am sure. for the audience who don't know me at all. Sure. Maybe but it was, it's my first time being on your show. Um, my name is Daphne Durand Campbell. Sure. You know, um, I'm from Haiti, and I moved to New York 1981 as a registered nurse. Been working in New York, and leave New York 1987, moved to Florida because New York was too cold, <laughs> and I've been here since 1987. But I uh, I was born a Christian, you know, raised you know, by my parents as a Christians, and uh, even my kids, I, you know, like I raised them as well, the same way. So um, in 19, uh, in 2009, I decided to run for office. The reason being, I was watching, you know, the previous state representative who was there before me, and find out, um, you know, certain principle, God's principle, I didn't see mm. in legislature. Yeah. And I said to myself, and we both are the same, you know, I could say, we are like a colleague in Christ. Yes. So, I'm not mentioning religion because our religion is not the way Christians talk. No. It's relationship. Christianity. Yeah, relationship. Relationship with God. Yeah. So, basically, I find out, I said, how can uh, Christians putting some, their hands on some bills in Tallahassee about, you know, for gay to adopt kids. To me, it was something very personal. Yeah. You know, and I say, I think I'm going to try. Mm. i never been in politics in my life. I hate politics. <laughs> I didn't get involved in politics. You know, I said, but I'm going to try. So when I called my husband and said, I'm going to try, he said, come on, Daphne. You don't even know the name of the president of the United States. And you're going to go to policy. I said, well, watch and see. Truly, you know, and I filed and, um, to compete against, you know, the one, the previous one before me. So um, I filed. Uh, everybody thought it was a joke because no one knew me in the district. You know, I didn't get involved with politics, like I said before. So basically... We take it just one day at a time. Yeah. So I won. I had a, almost 500 votes higher than him. And he was in our office for six years. Wow. So now you are, pal you, I'm a state representative. I'm a Christian. I follow Bible principle. I stand on my values. I know family values. So it's a problem. Yeah. It's a big problem. And I am a true Democrat. Yeah. So this is a huge problem. Yeah. But I didn't see it. So anyway, so I 
was, you know, by 2010, I started being a state representative. A mother, a state representative, a nurse, a Christian, so you name it. So the challenge started, I cannot ever forget 2011, when we had a bill for abortion. Abortion bill to before a 10 year old or 11 years old who had not do an abortion, they have to get parents' consent. Yeah. I think that was something normal. As a parent myself, I have two girls. I think, beside being a Christian, I am a mother. Yeah. Which parents are going to have a 10 year old going to do an abortion without parent consent? Yeah. The most the problematic of this situation to me that time, at that time, was the most critical things I could ever see a 10 year old. Can you imagine that child went to do the abortion, parents doesn't know, and the doctor gave that child a prescription for an antibiotics. Mm. The child is not working. The parent doesn't know anything. That child went to sleep, the child dead. That's what it is. Wow. Because if the child is not taking care of themselves, they're going to die with an uh, infection. Yeah, yeah. So I said, I stood that day, my f colleagues, Democratic colleagues said, don't speak. I said, no, I'm not going to speak. But while I was sitting there, is a spirit spoke to me and says, no, you need to be bold and get up and say something. If mm. you feel like it's, it's abnormal. So truly I did. I stood, I don't know where I was the best pastor ever in the chamber. Yeah. But the God sent me all type of scriptures yeah. to read to them, to let them know what, what happened was wrong. What, you know, the bill was totally wrong for anyone to go and get a little kid, 10 years old, who live under my roof, for me to not, not knowing they're going to, you know, go do an abortion. But my colleagues were very upset, some of them. And I had, I was uh, very, um, I felt very bad that day. They, one of them got up and told me all type of nasty words. F word in the chamber and tell me you could never come back. Mm. I'm going to do all my best for you not to get back. And I said, well, God's put me here and God's going to bring me back here. That was 2010, 12. So that happened in 11. And truly, him personally, God took him out before the end of session. He never come back. I was back. I'm back again, 12. I'm back 14. Now I'm going to back. I'm going to get back 16 higher position. So basically I could say God has been good to me. Yeah. And if God placed you to any position, no one could take you away from that position. It's very clear in the Bible. No weapons formed against you sharp whisper. If God is for you, who could be against you? So my journey in politics as a Christian as a mother, is a challenge. But with all the trials and tribulations I went through, because of one thing, that day I stood and spoke against abortion. Yeah. abortion because now they call me anti-democrat. I am anti-woman choice. I am anti-public school. I am anti You know, I got all type of bad name. I'm the worst yeah. Democrat ever. But I told people, I am a Democrat, but I am a woman of God first. Yeah. So that's my that's that's my stand. Yeah. I do not compromise with the God I serve. I do not compromise with the God who woke me up every morning. Yeah. I do not compromise the God who put roof over my head. I do not compromise with God who bring food on my table. I do not compromise. But besides social uh, services, so, social you know issues, you know you have other things combined to it. Yeah. But all these things, I stand firm yeah. on the family values, on the values I was taught when I was a child, little baby, until now. So, and I'm excited. trials and tribulations yeah. is going to be there if you're Christians. Yeah. When you're Christian, you got all type of trials. If it's not mm. children problems, it's a marital problem, it's a you know you know like a community problem or a little group. One way or to another. 
But if you stand firm, God will put you through, and you will see another Amen. day. Amen. A better day. Yes. A good day. A happiness day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And we're going to come back. I got some more questions for you. Thank you so much.